So, what's up, guys? So, we've recently had some updates on the San Bernardino shooting, and as I had said in my previous video on this, I was completely right. What I had said previously in my video was that because there was this talk, this rhetoric of domestic terrorism, my assumption was that the individuals in question were of were people of color, particularly of Arab or and or Muslim identity. Boy, I hit the nail on the head with that one. But there's a reason why I kind of figured that that was. There seems to be this typical rhetoric that goes through the American media and through the American political system, frankly, that whenever there's some sort of incident like this, it seems commonplace to call a suspected white gunman a mentally deranged, a mentally disturbed, or, you know, basically a mentally ill person, or basically that they were, you know, that they were they were some lone wolf, that they were some, that they were a loner, or they were this, or they were that. So basically, some petty, you know, excuse, some petty cop-out to avoid actually calling what, what, what they actually are, a terrorist. Because that's exactly what, what people like, um, like the Planned Parenthood shooter, and Dylan Roof, and John Russell Hauser, it's the same shit. It's all terrorism. Because they used their purposes for political and or religious motivations. But people just are so quick to say, Oh no, they, they were mentally disturbed. They, they blah 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 blah. No. It was terrorism. No matter how you slice it. And I'm tired of people freaking trying to give white people a pass because they just because of just because we happen to be pasty faced no if you do something for a political or religious motive it's still terrorism no matter what your religion or your color in fact there's more people that are killed by white racists and white Christian extremists than there are by other people around the world. I, and I just don't know why America can't get that into its psyche. Yet they are perfectly fine with discriminating against another group of individuals and so quick to label groups as thugs, as vigilantes, or terrorists whenever they happen to be a person of color, and particularly when this concerns people of Arab descent or actually from the Middle East and who happened to be Muslim and in this case the shooting was uh, committed by female suspect uh, Tashfin Malik and uh, her husband um, Sayyid Farouk now from what we can under what I've been able to determine and understand was that Malik was um, from Pakistan herself and possibly the fact that her uh, and her husband uh, was born in the US but there was a likelihood he could have been radicalized now with that in mind though this instance though that they shoot up a social services office doesn't really scream so much of a terrorist incident to me and I'm going to explain why. Normally, in a terrorist instant, uh, instant, someone you know goes after something that actually challenges you know or that, or shocks the world in some way, whether it be blowing up a um, or not blowing up, but whether it be shooting up a theater or blowing themselves up in the parking lot of a, of a stadium, which they tried to, which you know the per, uh, Paris attackers tried to get into. Um, and or whether it's crashing a plane into a building or whether it's you know shooting you know up a church in Charleston in uh, the Carolinas um, 
you know, in, in all these instances with different uh, terrorist activities, there was some political motivation, there was a religious motivation, and we'll be on it. And let me be honest, there is a, in that aspect, if we look at it purely at that, this was a terrorist action. And, and I'm not taking away that it is a terrorist action, so let me actually recant on that. It is a terrorist action. But it's a bloody fucking pathetic one. It's a bloody p pathetic thing to go into a social services office because that's not really challenging anything. From It, it sounds more like they were just... So, in this case, this would actually almost seem like some mentally disturbed individual. And of course, they, they say that he may have been radicalized. They did not necessarily say whether or not they were radicalized or not. And... That's the thing that we really need to pay attention here is whether or not they were radicalized, and because for all we know, this could just be a couple. Uh, this could just be a couple that was freaking out of their mind. And I mean, this was a couple that had been living here for years. They had a uh, they had a kid together. I mean, they were living basically the white you know, the white picket fence sort of American dream. So it's kind of one of those things that seems a little fishy on, you know, all this sort of idealism. So it's kind of hard because there still is stuff that is coming in at this point. But let me just be very clear on that. If it was for a political and or religious motivation, then yes, we could call this terrorism. If this is just some work by some people that, you know, got really pissed because they got denied for something at the social services center, then it's just probably some mentally deranged nutbag. Either way, it's one of those things that maybe the American media can spend time actually looking at this and actually pay attention to, to certain details before calling people a fucking terrorist. And maybe once they, they realize that, and maybe as well as the American people, maybe we could start looking at the fact that, again, the Planned Parenthood shooter, Dylan Roof, John Russell Hauser, um, and, you know, maybe we can actually start looking at these individuals and actually start realizing, that, oh, maybe what they did was actually considered terrorism as well. Once we realize that, maybe we can realize that there that there is a reason why you are twice as more likely to be killed by white right wing Christian extremists than you are by radical Islam. I'm NorCal Nick, leader of the revolutionist movement, and this has been NorCal Corner, and I am totally fucking done with these particular videos. Peace. Yeah.